Please let it be successful because I haven't had any success. Success! Yes! Awesome! Attempting to acquire credentials, changing permissions of blueprint success. So we actually hacked into the system and gave ourselves the ability for the blueprint. That is awesome. Whoa! Is this guy dead or is he just sleeping? Oh, maybe it wasn't such a good idea. I'm sorry. Greetings, guys and girls, fellow gamers. My name is Games of Kicks and welcome back to Landless. Yes, we're gonna do another episode or two. We'll see how it goes. They're already updated. A already. Is that a word? They already updated the game. And uh, it was on the 19th. It was basically after I finished recording. We're gonna go through some of the updates. It's actually quite interesting. It's amazing to see actually how much on the ball the developers are and how much they're listening to the community. But we're gonna have another episode. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. If you do, remember to kick that like button in the balls to support the channel. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. All right, let's have a look at some of the changes. One of the things they added is a new crown a signal booster which allows you which helps you with your starting hacks now um, if we look at our crafts we can see now I'm gonna stop time for a second there we can see the signal booster and the signal booster is a consumable as far as I know so once you craft it you actually have to use it like you do food you just click on it and consume it and then it gives you a buff or something and it helps you to hack now the hacking is something we didn't get into in the last episode it's basically when you're trying to spend your tech points and you're trying to get blueprints you have to use your tech points that you get which we didn't get into i know that we're gonna get into that later on um to unlock certain blueprints but you have to obtain them by hacking and you get caught and this will help you to actually not get caught as easily which is great so we're gonna have to actually see how we're gonna use that and how we're gonna make that so besides that a lot of the other changes were just bug fixes you can read them for yourself in the description below i'm gonna leave a link to the patch notes but the main thing is that stands out they made a performance fix um town npcs will now despawn as you move further away which helps performance uh, the first eight kids are now working as expected the hammerhead bone price we haven't caught a hammerhead yet but the bone price for the hammerhead is increased from 750 to 1500 making it worth now to snap it up it's uh, it seems because that is a lot of oil <laughs> whale oil and um, they also made some changes to the hood they made it slightly larger you can see here they increased the size ever so slightly but they have added a resizing uh, feature and they're not really happy with it yet, but they left it in for you to test. So players can test the current resizer, resizer by clicking and dragging the icon near the boat hood. So there's a little icon, you can barely see it. Let's look at something darker. There you go. You can see it here. And if you click and drag on it, you can actually resize your hood completely wild, like to a maximum of this or whatever you fancy. Now, I'm going to leave it to about here. I like it. It's nice. It's nice and big, maybe a bit too big. But you know what? It's nice that they actually add these things for you to play around with so uh, that you can get a feel for it. And, you know, let them know in the forums what you think. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Like I said, link in the description below. You can have a read of it yourself. Let's continue. All right. I, I, I reloaded from our last save point. We're gonna go and look at the tech now. So basically last time we uh, fought the buoy and the pirates, when the buoy destroyed, it left a box. So we picked up the black box. Now if we go to black box, uh, with the black box to this guy here, this is Charlie, um, he will exchange it in uh, for us for tech points. So we get tech points. Now these tech points are random. I don't know what the maximum is or the minimum cap, but um, sometimes I get six, sometimes 12. Now I got nine. So it's completely random. There's a, there's a bit of an RNG going on here. Now we're going to go back to our boat and now we can use these tech points. Oh, whoa, whoa, Ch Ch Charlie, you're in the way. Ah, <sighs> Genie Mark, we should be safe from sharks here. Now we get on the boat. We're going to go back here. And now the idea is that we can go into the blueprint section. We can use the tech points and try to uncover different things to craft say for example um plumbing i want something to go faster you know like the the basic motor or whatever or the b basic salt barrels i have no idea no idea what i actually need first like say a basic antenna that actually sounds very good a basic antenna so we get maybe a bigger radar or something a waster antenna that would be good a waster cable oh what is all that i actually have no idea it would be great if they would have a description down there especially when you're trying to figure things out it really helps a lot if there would be at least a basic description oh enhances that enhances that something like that and you have the different uh, versions you have basic you have heavy which of course costs more point you have eco which again i suppose is an increase because it's more expensive than that and you have dual which again is another higher level than smart so if you save your points i suppose you're going straight for this but anyway this is the basics, that's all we can afford right now. We already have an engine, for example, that's already learned, so we can't learn it again. But we might say, hey, a basic waster engine, okay? It's, I suppose, an upgrade maybe, I don't know. I have no idea what it's used for, but let's go for like, let's go for plumbing first and let's do a barrel, okay? Because it's completely different and we're gonna see what it does then. So let's learn it. 
we don't spend five points. As far as I understand this, it only spends one point every time you try to hack the system. But you need at least that amount of points because once you're successful, I'm assuming that's what you're gonna have to use to pay for it. But we'll see, I never was successful at this point. So what's happening is you enter into the wire system that our boss was talking about or our partner in crime was talking about in the last episode. And then you pick a server that you want to use to hack into the system. So please click on the network you wish to connect to. Now, it usually fails. I never ever was successful. Yeah? It says you have been detected, server breach detected, initiating seek and destroy carotene. So what happens now, it's a drone is sent to kill you. We're probably gonna die, but we have a save point. So let's see where the guy actually is. Balls. There he is. There we go. Now, there is a chance that you actually get two sent after you. And look, we actually lost a lot of health. One shot took 20 of our uh, health away. So five shots and we're dead. But they also leave something uh, uh, there that we should be able to pick up now. Excellent. So we pick that up. Very good. And look at this. Scrap electronics, scrap metal, scrap plastic, and some rifle ammo. Very, very good. So if you want, you can keep going and going and just collect some materials from that. But there's probably better ways of getting materials. Now, what I want to try is, and the thing is, again, it doesn't tell you what your success rate is. It just says, hey, do this, do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to craft one of those signal boosters. I think we have the resources, actually, because we have between the storage and our... Oh, look at that, we have some food. Between the storage and our inventory, we should have all the resources we need. So we craft one of them and just... Oh, you do not have the required objects. What are you talking about? Oh, okay. Oh, look at that. They added that feature. That is awesome. One of the guys actually asked for that feature that when you click on something that you don't have, that it goes, hey, you know, can you do this? Yeah, that is awesome. It actually should also tell you here now how much you have of that material because right now I would have to look and say, oh, I have 132 here and I have 600 here. So I have enough, but I didn't know that. So let's go back into the crafting system, signal boost and make 20 plastic moldings. So we're going to queue up 20 plastic moldings. Craft 20, boom, queued up. Now, there is no back button, I suppose, because it goes back out. So, uh, again, we click on signal boost, metal frame. We need five, so we craft five. There we go. It's another 15 seconds. And then we go signal booster, craft circuit boards. But it's already a great improvement to actually have at least already the ability to click on that and go there. That is awesome. And then we have 10. So I'm going to be back in a second when all this is there. And then we're going to craft our signal booster. And then we're going to see, actually, if we're going to succeed in hacking the system. All right, now this is all crafted. Now we're going to go to the signal booster and we should be able to craft this. One. You don't have to craft, what are you talking about? I have everything right here. Oh, it needs to be in my inventory. Duh, I'm an idiot. It wasn't in my inventory. So if we click on it now again, this should change color. Instead of red, it should be orange. Yes, excellent. So let's craft one. There we go. Only takes 10 seconds. Now while we're crafting this, we also want to have a quick look at this. There is a hydro turret and a hydro turret. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the difference is. But there's a hydro turret. Oh, look at that. You need a sonar buoy for that. Okay, I don't know how to craft that. How do we craft that? Oh, we can't. It's a raw material. Oh, very good. So let's see. We're gonna make, we're gonna queue these guys up before we start using that. And uh, then we're gonna make a hydro turret because I want to know what it does. And interceptor tower sounds pretty awesome as well. Maybe it's something we can use to shoot at something. I don't know. We're gonna have to play around with these. So I'm gonna queue this up. Then we're going to, Oh, look, there's a description now. Awesome. So it shows you the description afterwards. Signal booster, one time use only. If your amplify start is below 50, your next hack attempt will count as if you had 50 amplify start. Has no effect if you already have 50 amplified start. Oh, that is pretty cool. I just spent some time to check out some things like basically to get our own amplify stat without having to use the boost we need a radio and the problem is that we need 10 points to make a radio we only got nine anyway so uh, to get a radio you need uh, not engineering hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on utility here we go you have a basic radio now a basic waste radio and a basic salter radio i think the salter radio gives you something in the area of 50 amplification points so if you can make that that will be what you pretty much need like so of course if you can do a computer it's better but i mean the basic radio would be great to start and i'm assuming that the resources for this are going to be way more expensive than this one for example so i have a feeling that this is how it goes now let's go back to the barrel and let's see if we can learn the barrel now we're going to whoops we're going to consume this now 
our amplification, it doesn't say that it's at 50. Huh. Okay, so maybe it will just act like we have 50. So let's go and learn it. Okay, let's initiate. Scanning areas, let's pick a server. Please let it be successful because I haven't had any success. Success! Yes! Awesome! Attempting to acquire credentials, changing permissions of blueprint success. So we actually hacked into the system and gave ourselves the ability for the blueprint. That is awesome. So let's try this out. Let's see if we go to craft now. Uh, machinery. A barrel! This is awesome! Oh, look at that. I also made a turret. I have no idea how to use it. Intercept tower. Hit with wrench to hack nearby vessels. Oh! Hit with wrench to hack nearby vessels. Placeable object. I'm going to have to check that out. But anyway, I'm going to queue up this everything for the barrel because I have no idea what it does and we have all the resources, so screw that. Basic plastic? Yeah, sure, whatever. Why not? Oh, that will cost us 300. Actually, I don't know if I have enough anymore. So we got to be careful about this. Oh, we have, we have 400, yeah. That's pretty cool. It definitely needs to tell us how much we have because you're getting kind of risky going like, oh, yeah, I have enough. Oh, balls, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is really exciting. Like, I'm going to have to uh, check out what this does. And that's how hacking works. So let's go outside, explore a little bit, and see if we can cause some damage. Before we set out, let's have a look at the radio. This is the one thing we unlocked, actually, in the last episode, and I completely forgot about it. We have a radio contract, so let's have a look at the contracts. I'm pausing the game. It's great that you actually can pause the game while you look through these. It's absolutely amazing. Please hurry. There are shark teeth close by. I need some to collect six. Okay, that's fine. And we get some resources as well. So let's do that. Great. What is that? Please hurry. There are a case of chemicals close by. Okay, let's do some collection. And then elimination. Please hurry. There are salter rafts. And then can anybody help? We're playing premium oil for... We're paying premium oil uh, for anyone who can collect one worn-out firearm. Okay, that seems to be kind of a quest that takes until you get lucky this requires immediate attention eliminate eight orcas for us and you will actually do you know what i'm going to take that as well if i can so let's see what my log says oh i actually have them all here that is awesome eliminate eight orcas okay um can i put abandoned quest no 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 can i collect three cases can i select them somehow can i show me show me on the map somehow no all right, okay, we're just gonna have to get lucky, I suppose. That's what it's all about, adventuring out to sea. I have no idea where those crates are supposed to be, but we're gonna find them. We're going to find crates, we're going to head west. Let's head dead on west. There we go. And we're gonna have to start thinking about buying base parts, okay? I don't wanna craft them and take too many materials, but they're quite cheap to buy, actually. So if we buy a couple of platforms and a wall, we can start building storage in other places and leave it there, which is really, really good. And it seems also that we have a blue pointer now on the top right on the map. I moved my face so you should be able to see it. Uh, which points always to the main city, which is absolutely fantastic, which is great. So let's have a look around. An orca would be nice. Let's see how far out we're going to have to drive to get some orcas into our sight. All right, we must be in unfriendly territory. We have a drone that followed us. Where are you? There we go. I think it's because we got too close. There's some buoys. You have to be very careful, okay? You have these buoys over here, which we're going to uh, go to now. And then you have the other buoys, which are... They have guns on top. Or in this case, I assume they, they get drones. And, oh, look at that. That's lovely. And that, of course, um, is not good. <laughs> okay, let's actually see. That's just a shark. That's not an orca. But hey-ho, better than nothing. Do we still have the shark quest? Oh, we can't take it anymore. Oh, no. Oh, we, could, we can. Elimination. Collection. Oh, we did accept the shark one. Yes. So let's go get the shark as well, if we can. That would be pretty good. Or maybe he's coming to us or even, which would make it even easier. Oh, balls. Ah, if there's a shark in the water, why are you jump in the water, you plank? Let's go and get that buoy. Oh, this is a hammerhead. Oh, please. If we get so lucky. Ah, uh, come on. Did we get him? Oh, that was a hammerhead. That would have been awesome. Oh, look at that. We already have these guys coming to us. <laughs> okay, we have only 300 bullets left. Be careful. There we go. Nice. Awesome. Can we kill the birds? Oh, I think we did. 
We can kill birds! This is awesome! Is there a shark down here? Because I just saw something there underwater. Now, I look at this. There's something definitely moving. Oh, yes! Oh, beautiful! This is awesome. Okay, let's, get, let's, let's go over here. This is awesome. This is cool. Is that a hammerhead? Oh, that... Oh, whatever. I don't know what that is. It's ugly! What is that? Oh, holy balls! That is like a massive thing! What is that? Oh, wow! What did we get for it? We got 25 raw fish! That was a massive thing. Okay, we're gonna have to get the crate. Actually, uh, okay, quick, 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 quick. Quick, 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 quick! There's something else in the water. I saw a fin. I saw a fin. We definitely want to avoid that big guy over there, but I think he's driving away. Let's get uh, another black box and get some tech. That would be pretty good. Because it would be good to get a basic radio so we can actually do hacking better so we don't have to constantly craft that thing. So far, so good. Our fuel is... Ah, it's okay. But our health is okay. I need to eat something. There we go. And it gets our health up a little, little bit as well. And we can drink while we, while we do this, which is awesome. I think there's a shark right here. Ooh, look at that. There's the big boat. I don't want the big boat to come because the big boat will potentially shoot us right in the balls and that's not good I don't know why no pirates are coming attacking us. They're probably afraid. I mean we shot shoot two guys and just cold blood. Oh balls. Okay, quick 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 And come on go down. Give me the black box. Give me that beauty And there's another one if we go back to the base over there Let's see if we can find any more shadows moving underground because that's how we get the last one. Oh look at that beauty Let's go a little bit closer we can push our boat, which is really, really fun. So you push your boat a little bit. And there you go. And then just jump. And let's see if we can get it from the boat. Ah, balls! Oh, I don't like the water. I don't like the water. Oh, I don't like the water. It's really scary. Okay, before we start tripping, let's go back. We should have a black box in our inventory now. Nice. Okay, and we got a lot of raw materials here. Okay, let me sort all this out. I also crafted a... I keep pressing tab for opening the inventory. Um, also, let me let me see here. I crafted... Why did I craft another one? Oh my god, this is broken. Oh, this is a bug. This is the second time now that I clicked on Hydro Turret to craft it. And it made a bloody intercept tower. The second time now in a row. Seriously. Oh, come on. I, I taught the first time I accidentally clicked on intercept tower, so that definitely seems to be a bug. That every time I want to craft this, uh, the hydro turret, I click on it, I craft it, it actually is crafted. Okay, something is making love to our boat. These guns I was talking about, they are a balls. You don't want to get them shoot you. They shoot you twice and you're dead, yeah? I mean, look at this. They actually, they don't cause any hull damage now, which is really uh, fortunate. But these guys will kill you, basically, if you, if you get too close to them. So don't have them shoot you in the back. They will just literally... Uh, oh, look at that beauty. Come on, can we kill you? Can we kill you? That would be awesome. Where are you? Where are you? Oh, whoa! Ah, oh, we didn't get him. That was exciting. He attacked our boat. He was like, whoa! We got a visit. Come on, get him, get him, get him. Yes! Awesome! Okay, let's go and get these boogers. There we go, we're gonna get that, get that loot. Get that fat loot. Nice. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Oh, balls, I'm on the wrong side, Jack. Oh, I don't wanna have this, Jack. Please, 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 don't bite me. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. That feeling of being above an abyss that can just open up and grab you by the balls. Anyway, let's go back. We have a lot of resources, so I'm gonna have to look into that if that is actually a bug, because that is a bit annoying. But we should have enough tech now from this to hopefully get the radio. That would be really, really awesome. Where's that fin? Oh, it's over there. Was that a shark? Oh, that looks like an orca. Holy balls! Whoa! Is this guy dead or is he just sleeping? Oh, maybe it wasn't such a good idea. I'm sorry! Oh, is he dead? Come on, come, where's, oh balls, oh balls, oh balls, we're getting attacked from all sides now. Oh, look at this, the orca is already on the back, this is awesome. 
Oh, we didn't get this guy, but this is so cool. We got, oh look, there's the dead guy. <laughs> the shark has him in the mouth. The shark is like, nom, 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 nom. This is pretty cool. Okay, let's get this guy before. Um, how much space do we have in our inventory? Yes, good. Now let's see how much we get from you. Wow, okay, so let's see. 25 raw meat and we got, oh, look at that. We got, I think 600 or something. Um, can we move this boat just over? Excellent, look at that, beautiful. We didn't even have to turn the engine on. Nice, and, oh, look at that. Oh, did, oh, he just goes down. Does he go down? Can we pick him up? Oh, look at that, there's something coming. There's something coming. There's something glowing underneath the water there. You can see it right there. <laughs> and we killed it, yes! Oh, we are killers! Oh my lord, there will be no fish left in this sea when we are done with them. We're going to chicken out because these guys are just non-stop spawning because we're kind of fishing in the area of the buoy. Holy balls, why you keep... Okay, that's it. There you go, that's what you get for messing with me, okay? We got so many more fish, it was unbelievable. They were just constantly swimming around there beside these buoys. It's just such an awesome place for fish. I mean, look, they're still there. There's still more. Unbelievable. There we go. Let's get that and let's go. Ah, balls, wrong side. Ah, <laughs> I know there's sharks in the water. I don't want that. <whistles> okay. Ah, oh, every single time. Look, there, the big shadows. And I don't know what they are. They're not sharks, but they look awesome. They look like real giant sea monsters. Anyway, we're getting very tired. So let's go back. Let's get the tech points. And let's see what we're gonna get for it. Um, bu 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 I need a port. There we go. Nice. And we're gonna buy some food as well. Ah, we might as well go here then. Okay, that's easier. I feel like turning and turning. Because we need sleep, guys. We need a lot of it. And we need food, and we're hungry, and we are not healthy. That is, There's a lot of things. So let's go here and let's get the points. And then we have, how much fish oil do we have? Whale oil. 2970, holy balls. And we have so much food. And we have some shark teeth, which is really, really awesome as well, because we need them for the quest. Now, this guy, I haven't clicked anything. He still says text points edit nine. So let's exchange. And we got another nine points. Okay, so which means if we go back to our boat, we should be at 14, 15. I don't know how much we have left. Let me see. There we go. So if we go blueprints, we have 12 now, which is great. Let's take it. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Let's go into here. Blueprints. Utility. Basic radio. I don't know if I want to go for this because this I know from the forums is supposed to have 53 amplification. So let's try that. I'm just so nervous if we fail that we won't have enough points. This is the server. Yes! Oh, look at this, this is amazing, we got a success, this is so awesome, we're gonna be able to craft it now. Now I don't have the materials, I bet you now I don't have the materials because I went too high. I bet you. Now we still have only two points left, so it cost us the actual full ten points. Ah, I see, if it's successful, it costs you the points that it states, if you fail, it costs you one point. Very good, I like that. Now let's see how much we actually need, can we actually craft it? We can craft all the materials. This is awesome. We're gonna have to do this, but we're gonna do it in another episode. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls. And I hope to see you guys in another episode. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, huge spas and happy gaming. Here we are, here we are. And we got a radio built. Ooh, let's see if we can put it in somewhere. Oh, yes, look at that. Amplify, it's only 12. Oh, And can we only put it in one slot? Oh, we can only put it in that one slot. So the other one isn't unlocked yet. It's probably for a different level one. So that only gave us 12 amplification. Hmm. Well, I suppose better than zero. So we need to go to the highest level one. We need to get to the next higher level. We're going to get a lot more black boxes. We need a lot more black boxes.